From break-ins to drug use and more, one sorority leader at the University of Oregon says they are fed up with the crime. Thank you for watching KZI 9 News. I'm Matt Templeman. And I'm trying to green in for Renee. An issue that we told you about before, but as KZI 9 News reporter Michael Severn shows us, they're looking forward to next week when a private security guard could start patrolling the area. They broke in and then they came around. After a UO sorority was broken into last Saturday morning, Kathy Sigali, the house director, jumped into action. She installed this security alarm on the side door after she says this man forced his way in and swiped credit cards and more. She asked us not to report the sorority's name out of security concerns and says she's working to make it a fortress. I thought I did everything I could possibly do to keep us safe and now I feel like we are and we're also getting a fence. The break in at this sorority isn't the only one that's happened recently. A spokesperson for the university tells me UOPD has taken three reports of burglaries, one report of theft and one report of criminal mischief since December 1st. But soon UO sororities will have another tool to fight crime. They along with nearby Elkhorn Brewery have hired a company to do patrols starting as early as next Tuesday. U of O sophomore and sorority member Talia Serbrook says she had her backpack, wallet, and more stolen. I, mean, I think it's good. I mean, there's 60 of us living in a house, and it's important to have security for it. Sigali says along with the break-ins, she's found needles and human waste outside their home, and she hopes the new patrols put an end to all their problems. My hope is safety for the girls, safety for anyone in Eugene. That is our hope. Hope, she says, that is long overdue. In Eugene, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News.